It's not so good that you should get it printed on a t-shirt so I know what it's about. We wanted 200 of them. Small, medium, large, and extra, extra racist. Um, it, uh, that's right, the whitest man in the room has started off with the racial material. Um, that's okay, I'm allowed to say whatever I like. Um, that's because I recently won, no, I didn't won, I came second in Mr. White, White Male Privilege 2024. Um, and it's nice that, seeing white blokes getting a bit of recognition once in a while. Uh, I did come second, uh, the winner is this guy who um, gets his ears pierced with a hunting rifle. Um, I. Racism's on my mind at the moment. My home county is Lincolnshire. I mean, I do that, but I can't point that way, assuming that's where Lincolnshire is. <laughs> um, the local MP in Skegness is now a Reform UK MP. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying Skegness is completely full of racists, although that is where I sold all my T-shirts. <laughs> I, I was in Skegness actually the other day. Um, I was uh, down on the beach where they have the, the donkey ride still. The little donkeys you can go on. They still do that. And I was there and uh, there's one guy. He just let his donkeys go. Off the road, wander about, kicking over sand castles, eating children's ice creams. And I, I remonstrated with him. I told him he couldn't do that. He said, that's not right, you can't do that. And then he had a right on camera with me, down to tell him what to do. And I went, whoa, 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 hold your horses. <laughs> Written by AI. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work though, does it? It doesn't work. It's, a, it's about the, the phrase, hold your horses, and donkeys. They're not even the same thing. You know, I mean, you know the difference between horses and donkeys, right? Yeah. Yeah? You're going to tell them that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, all, all I know is that if you... Uh, phone up work in the morning and say I can't come in because I'm feeling a little horse. <laughs> you get a day off work, um, if you phone in and say I'm feeling a little donkey, um, there's only a permanent record I did um, So I'm finishing my job at the school at the end of the week. Um, did he jump or was he pushed? No idea, Inspector. Yeah, you know, I am finishing with teaching. Uh, this is genuine truth. I'm going to be a professional idiot for the next few years. And um, it's a shame I'm going to miss it. I love teaching. I love boring children to death with things that I'm passionate about. I like words and their meanings and where they come from. So when I think about things like, I, I, I say, to hey kids, you know, uh, did you know that terrific doesn't mean good, it means frightening, yeah. Do you know that awful doesn't mean bad, it means surprising. And the kids just look at me. Um, and, and things like um, talking about um, uh, homophones, uh, that's people who sound like they hate gay people. Um, and, um, oh, another word I like, gaslighting. You know, gaslighting, to, to, to gaslight somebody. Um, the only thing I know is it, it doesn't mean what you think it does. Okay. Um, <laughs> not written by AI, that one was pure um, But I'm, I'm glad to be uh, stopping work actually for a bit. I need to focus on my health. Um, I, I've been definitely working on uh, slimming down a bit. It's, it's, it's not been good for me. I've got you know, some health issues. Um, lost three stone in the last year. Very pleased with myself. Thank you. Thank you. I 
know, it was a period of time where, uh, you know, I knew I had a weight problem. My wife knew I had a weight problem. Um, you know, it was just a thing. And, and you know, really, it was that point where she just sat me down at the kitchen table and says, you know, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> No, no idea where I'm going now. Yes, so, yes, but my weight, how could I forget? So, because the reason this really came to life was we were talking about BMI at school. I do health and social care. Um, and I did my BMI to be part of the class doing it. And then a child, true story, came down the corridor to me at the break time when Ian, because we're that kind of trendy school where we use first names, Ian, I hear you're a beast. <laughs> <laughs> and, True story. So I, I literally took up the compliment I felt it was at the time. I, I really did. Um, you know, and so got to work on those things because um, I am really a lazy person. Um, and, you know, it's like I don't do as much as I should around the house. So it's like, you know, my wife asked me to do the dishwasher and I thought, well, right, no, I didn't. I just go sit outside in the jacuzzi outside, you know, just you know, soak and relax. And then my wife comes outside and says to me, Ian, have you done the dishwasher? And I thought, uh oh, I'm in hot water. <laughs> Written by AI. Thank you, much, everybody. Thank you.